Hey guys, so I'm out for a walk and I thought I should show you a little bit of my town. Um, Lion Stream Bridge. And it's early, early morning. Uh, it should be closer to 3 a.m. Um, let's see here. This bridge is very old. Uh, it's over a hundred years old. It used to be the longest wooden bridge here in Sweden. Uh, actually a company in my town built another bridge for another town, so now it's not anymore. My town's name is Skellefteå, by the way. It's in the, uh, it's far up north, and it has a population about of about seventy-five thousand people. So I'm a bit further up the bridge now. Uh, this looks like a pond. Uh, but this is where the logging used to happen. The church used to have a lumber mill here. It's the same here on the other side. And the church is actually just up here. You should be able to see it shortly. Oh, up there. I'm gonna visit that too. I'm gonna just show you a little bit of my town, the historical part. Uh, I usually don't do these kind of videos. But, for once, I'm just in the mood for it. So, I found a information thing here for the bridge. It was built in, let's see here... 1737. And... Yeah. It's a quite big church. Uh, I may be mistaken, but I think it's one of the biggest in here in Sweden. I never knew the graveyard had sprinklers, but I guess I know now. There are some old wooden structures. Uh, actually, uh, the bridge down there, the wooden bridge, there was Russians marching here, fighting the Swedes, and well, local lore says that there are bullet holes here in this building from the battle. Uh, I am not sure which they would be. It's not easy to tell. It's very old, this building. But that is what the local lore says. What else can I tell you? Well, I'm gonna check out the church. I thought I should just show you these buildings. Uh, in one of these two buildings, there actually used to be three buildings here. Uh, one was where the really, really poor people used to live. Uh, there used to be a plaquette here showing the information, but I guess it's removed, stolen, broken or whatever. Uh, still, I would not want to live in there. The sun is starting to rise quite a lot now. Um, let's see here. This church actually has uh, roots back to like 1300s or no, let's see the 1400s or 13 something. Uh, it was completed in 1799, as you can see here. I think it will be locked, uh, but I'm still gonna check out if I can go in. I also think the oh, I think the founder of my town actually has his grave here somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna seek out. I'm gonna check out if I can find it. Hey guys, I just saw something really, really, really strange. Uh, there is a wild hare running around uh, on the graveyard. Uh, I. I think it ran this way. 
we got some woods here, but really it's not <laughs> a place I would expect to see like a hair bigger than a cat. I think it ran this way. Uh, the church was locked. And damn, I'm surprised. Oh, sorry for cursing in a graveyard. I'm gonna see if I can find that little bugger. Here is another part of the graveyard. Uh, if my local history is correct, this is like where they placed the bodies. And, well, the skull and crossbones would confirm that. Um, it has a strange odor. Um, I'm not going in there. So, I thought I was gonna go this way and well, there's a big drop off here. Um, well, not on this side, not as big. Let's see if I can find that here. Uh, most likely it ran into the woods over there. Who knows? It could be anywhere. Now I'm at yet another historical area of the town. Uh, you can see there is a big drop here. Uh, they think this used to be a medieval harbor. Uh, it's called King's Pit or Kungsgropen in Swedish. They have done some excavations here, found some old coins, and they also got some really old maps in the local museum. I may actually go to the local museum just to record a bit. Um, here is another bridge. It leads over to that side as you... <laughs> well, you would understand that one, but... There is a cafe on the other side that serves waffles and jam with whipped cream and all other things. And... This is the place where I usually go to swim. It seems to be low tide. Uh, oh, and there's also leeches here. Still, I go to swim here sometime. It's really low tide actually. This bridge is suspended, so when you jump on it, it flexes. There's lots of mosquitoes here. I got one in my hand right now. Uh, come on, camera, focus. <sighs> I have no idea what that is. Oh! A fire extinguisher. Yeah, that's the first thing you expect to see at 3 in the morning. Um, seems empty. Probably stolen. This is quite a nice view of the river. And I can tell you, anybody that sees my videos and wants to come to visit, you're more than welcome to. Uh, I know this town by heart. I've lived here all my life. And, well, you're welcome to come here and visit me. So, here is another view of the King's Pit. And up here, I'm gonna show you something really cool. So, this is the old farmer's town. Uh, there used to be more buildings, but in a big fire, many were, well, destroyed. Farmers used to come here from all over the area and since they only had horses and wagons and the church weekends were really close this is where they used to live and they stayed here and then they went to church just around the corner. So I'm just gonna record some of the buildings. I usually do not do these kind of videos but hey for once I'm gonna just gonna go well I'm just gonna show you something. 
This is where two buildings used to stand, but just a few years ago they burned down. Uh, I can tell you, uh, it's really really cramped in these buildings. People were much much smaller back then. Uh, I'm 5'9", and if I stand next to a door, you're gonna see what I mean. As I said, I'm 5'9", and I'm standing here right next to a door, as you can see it's not much taller than me uh, inside, if you go inside there is a small staircase leading up to the second floor and it's really really cramped I, if I remember correctly uh, I have to actually duck to get up the stairs now I'm in the center of the farmer's town this is where they used to have markets, and we still do to this day. And... Well... It's a historic area in my town. Next up should be... Well, the dock ponds, the museum, and... What else? Well, I'll see what I can find. So, I actually found some information in English here. You can pause if you want to read it all. So, I'm coming up on the duck ponds shortly. There is a stage down here where they perform plays during the summer. I'm gonna record when I'm down the hill. Yeah, I could actually find a good angle up here. Uh, there's a duck pond down here. There is the stage. And let's head down. This is an old bridge. I have always liked this bridge. It looks like an ogre or a troll should live down there. I've never been in there. Maybe I should check it out. But then again, it's quite steep. It's almost 4 in the morning. And I don't have any, well, rubber boots on. I predict it's gonna be like, well, a ditch with water. So, not this time. Here's another historic building. This has actually been moved here from, now, from another area. Uh, it's about 150 years old. There's some Miller's stones out here. And here is yet another historical building. I think there is some information in English here too. Let's check it out. If you want to read it all, press pause and read it. This is the blacksmith. Or where the blacksmith used to work. Also some old buildings. Here is one of the bigger duck ponds. There are no more ducks here. 
when I was a kid. They used to have a chain link fence here all around. Ducks and swans and all that. Now they still have one area left. Um, but I don't think they have the swans anymore. Or maybe. Still it's not what it used to be. <sighs> yeah, over there. The yellow building. That is a hostel I think now. Or at least you can get your lunch and things there. And I think you can spend the night there, but I'm not sure. Let's move on. This is a small shop. It sells, well, all kinds of things. Old, old time things, more or less. There it is. Badge, whose translates to... Hell, I can't think right now, it's four in the morning. Let's check this building out. There are more old buildings over here. Oh, over there I did a video I deleted, or at least I have never made it public. I'm gonna check out some more things here. And I hope I'm not boring you guys. I'm just trying out different, vid different videos. Toilets. I never knew they had toilets here. If I'm not mistaken, this should be some big hot shots house. Maybe not. I'm quite sure one of these buildings used to be like the church minister's building or some summer home or something. Welcome to our weaver's cottage. Yeah, and this is where I did a video. Uh, it's still unlisted. I might make it public. Who knows? Let's move on. Uh, the museum is actually just around the corner. Uh, that big building. This is a statue of Nils Nordlander, the city founder. I actually saw his grave at, uh, well, at the cemetery by the church. Uh, I just forgot to record it. Uh, let's see here. There is another stage. Let's go to the museum. It's closed, but still I can show you the exterior. Um, this is an area where they usually have festivals next to the museum. So. They usually have a stage down there, but uh, well, 
the soccer goal farthest away and they got people selling things all over this area and these are the bushes where everybody goes to pee because the toilets are always busy um, this is an area where they usually have festivals next to the museum so they usually have a stage down there but uh, well the soccer goal farthest away and they got people selling things all over this area and these are the bushes where everybody goes to pee because the toilets are always busy I'm coming up to the only intact duck pond doesn't seem to be any ducks here though hmm. this used to be a school and well the school stopped being here they turned it into a museum instead and here are here is the duck pond they I think they well turn this into a skating rink uh, during winter oh hey hold on I can see some birds I'm gonna record them and hold on here is the front of the museum this used to be the main uh, entrance now they use that one instead so it's I guess it's almost four in the morning now this is the name of my town Let's see if the camera can focus. Skellefteå. Or you might say, say Skellefteå. Let's go check out those ducks. Or swans or whatever they are. Apparently there are some birds here. Uh, they don't like my selfie stick. Hey guys. What's up? Uh, apparently they don't like when you vlog. I have no idea what kind of birds they are. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in a bit. It might shake a bit, but... If anybody knows what kind of birds these are, let me know. I'm gonna zoom out. My little tour of my town is almost over. There is only, well, there's not much to show in else. Uh, this is where they process the water, the drinking water in that building. And, well, I'll see what I can find else to show you guys. I'm currently at the waterworks. It says here, Skellefteå Town Waterworks. And this is also the town crest. Um, they're gonna build a bridge here. We actually have three bridges over the river and they're gonna build another one just next to the waterworks. They might even tear this building down. Uh, I'm not sure about the plans, but still. As far as I know, there will be a bridge from this side of the river over to that side of the river. I might as well take this path. So. I'm gonna go down there. This is where the bridge will cross. Uh, more or less it's gonna go right over to my area of town. Uh, I live in an area called Sunnano. Uh, there's really no good translation to that one. So it's gonna go here, cross over to, well, there's an old farmstead over the other area and I think they're gonna tear it down just to get this bridge 
here is one bridge already but the new new bridge is gonna be crossing over here should be let's see here oh, more or less there in the center of the picture we actually had a vote about this and it was voted down to well getting this bridge here still a few years later the politicians said well we don't really give a damn we're gonna build this bridge even if you don't like it we're gonna build it so shut up that's more or less the story um, there's been a big local festival this week um, that is where I recorded my Reaper videos and well I'm gonna head on over this bridge over to my town my side of the town and head on home uh, I well it's four in the morning the gym opens in about in about two hours so I might as well just go home prepare to you go to the gym get ready and I might upload a video or two today or then again maybe not I'm still on my way home I thought I should record the view here from the bridge um, quite sure some of you will really like it as I said there has just been a local festival so things are dirtier than they usually are um, oh, there is the highway bridge the most trafficated bridge in town Oh, check that out! A rainbow! Maybe it's good luck. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. So, this is the view I usually see because I pass on this bridge, well, several times each week, in and out of town. There's lots of construction going on. And... Nice to see a rainbow. It's starting to rain again. It rained before I went out, it rained a little bit when I was out, and I really hope this will not mess with my camera.